All right, thank you for taking time to listen today. My name is Nicole Matthews. I am a licensed professional counselor and the director of outpatient programming for Connections Wellness Group in Denton. I know all of us have been through really difficult times, distressing times, especially within the last 18 months. So what I wanna take some time to talk to you about today are seven simple things that we can do to work to improve those kinds of moments whether those are moments of crisis, whether those are moments where we are really wanting to avoid something that's distressing, whether it's a confrontational conversation with a friend, with a loved one, maybe a meeting with a boss or a coworker that we really don't want to do, just those moments in which our gut is really telling us, get out of this, avoid this, run away, I don't want to be here. What we're looking to do is just endure through that stressful, distressing time. They're not anything that's gonna get us out of that situation, but things that can help make the moment even five, 10% more bearable, just getting us what we need to make it through. So one of the first ways we can do this is really utilizing imagery. What this means is taking a few moments to really stop and visualize yourself in a place that is safe, in a place that is comforting, some place that you feel secure and at peace. Whether that is taking some breaths, closing your eyes, picturing yourself on a beach with waves crashing, just kind of that peaceful setting, whether that is a cabin in the mountains all by yourself while snow is falling, or maybe that is sitting at home, being in your comfy sweatpants curled up on your couch. Whatever that safe place is for you, taking some moments to really visualize and put yourself in that setting. The goal with doing that kind of imagery is to give your body a chance to calm down. We know that when our body calms, our thoughts and emotions tend to follow suit. So if we can spend those moments calming our body down, trying to convince ourselves that we are in a safe place, that we're going to be okay, that can give us what we need to get through that distressing moment. Another simple thing that we can do is look to find meaning in whatever the painful situation we're in. What we're trying to do is to find purpose in the pain. This could mean looking for what we can learn from the situation, what we can get out of the situation. I hate being in distressing situations. I would avoid them at all costs if at all possible. I don't like pain or turmoil, and I'm sure you guys don't either. However, I know that unfortunately, those are often the times when I grow the most. Those are the times when I learn the most about myself. Those are the times when I learn who is there for me, who I can really depend on and rely on. And those times really give me that sense of strength and accomplishment once I can get through them. I know we're not ab always able to find the meaning in difficult moments, but if we can do that, it can really empower us to get through those and can help us when the next painful moment comes to make it through. The third way that we can look to improve those painful, distressing moments is through prayer. Whether you believe in a higher power or don't believe in a higher power, this can be a really useful tool. For those of you who do believe in a higher power, this is really spending that time reaching out, asking for guidance, asking for strength, asking for support not necessarily asking to take away the pain or the distress, but helping us to get through it. For those that don't believe in a higher power, this could look more like that internal sense of prayer, talking to yourself, getting in touch with that inner wise mind, help me, help me to get through this, help me to get past this moment, asking for that support, for that wisdom to come from within. A fourth thing that we can do is to really engage in some relaxation techniques. Again, this requires you to take a few moments to spend that time to really engage in those relaxing exercises. We all know that stress takes a toll on the body and we live in stressful times. Things are going really fast, they're not slowing down, and if we don't take those moments to relax, our body carries that around and it has detrimental health effects. So what we can do is we can take some moments to focus on our breath, taking deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, really spending time engaging in that paced breathing. 
Maybe it looks like doing some progressive muscle relaxation, focusing on the different muscle groups of the body, tensing those muscles, releasing those muscles, whatever we can do, again, to get our body into that sense of calm and relax, knowing that if we can do that with our bodies, our emotions and thoughts tend to follow suit. Maybe this means that we are doing a body scan, really, again, closing our eyes, paying attention to where am I carrying this tension and the stress in my body and working to let that go. If we can relax and, and we can calm our bodies down, that can help us get through painful, distressing moments. Another thing that we can do to help improve a moment would be to focus on one thing in that moment. This is really where we're taking mindfulness and incorporating it into the present. What this looks like is really spending time focusing in, honing in on one sense, trying to really engage that sense in every way that you can, focusing primarily on that. We're not looking to try and push out the distressing thoughts, but instead what we're trying to do is to let those go, let them be, and continuing to refocus on the one sense, whether that sense of smell, touch, taste, sight, or sound, really engaging in that sense. For me, it's the most effective when I focus on sense of touch. So what are the things that I can actually feel with my hands, with my feet, feeling grounded? These are those grounding techniques, those grounding exercises. Again, the goal with this is to decrease that stress that we are in in the moment, letting that stress level come down, giving us just enough to continue enduring through that distressing situation. So the sixth thing that we can do to help improve the moment would be to take a brief vacation. This is not always possible depending on what the situation is, but a lot of the times we do have the chance to take a break from that situation. If that is going on a walk outside, whether that is getting in a room by yourself, putting on your favorite song, dancing around, maybe it's putting your favorite essential oil in a diffuser and letting that diffuse through the room, anything that we can do to take a break from that situation. Again, this is not avoiding the situation. This is taking a break, giving yourself the time you need to get out of that high level of stress, to get your emotions to come down so that you can re-engage in that, so that you can endure that moment, so that you can push through. The seventh and final tip, and maybe what I think is the most important one, is words of encouragement. We talk to ourselves all day long. We always have an inner monologue going on, describing what's going on around us, critiquing ourselves and others. And when this is negative, it has a huge impact on us. We as humans are kind of drawn toward the negative. We find ourselves focusing on those negative things. It's why we can hear 10 positives and one negative, and that one negative is what sticks with us. The more we talk to ourselves in a negative way, the more reinforced that becomes, the more likely it is to become a belief that we hold. And the more we focus on that negative belief, the more likely it is to become a negative truth in our lives. That's how we develop these core beliefs about ourselves that could be completely inaccurate and false, but to us, it's true. What we want to work to do with these words of encouragement is to cheerlead yourself through the moment. It's to find those mantras that really work for you, that really give you that sense that it's going to be okay. It can be something as simple as, I can get through this. I can do this. I am strong. I can handle this. This will pass. Those are so important and it sounds so simplistic, but simple works for a reason. Simple often is the most effective thing that we can do. When we are in tough situations and we're talking to ourselves, like you're never gonna get through this, this is always gonna be the way it is, it's always gonna be horrible, it's always gonna be this bad, you might as well give up. That's what we do, we give up. We can't find what we need to push through that moment and to get to the other side and see that things can still be okay. So I don't know who needs to hear this right now, but I wanna take some time to speak those words of encouragement to you. You are strong, you are brave, you are tough. You can get through this. 
You are meaningful. You have purpose in your life. You are not alone. You are here for a reason. If you find yourself struggling, I want you to know that you can get through this. Yes, it is difficult. Yes, it's hard. Yes, it's awful and it sucks, but you can do this. You are not alone. You have people who are rooting for you. You have people who support you, who have your back. And even if you can't identify those people in your life right now, they are out there. They are looking for you. They need you just as much as you need them. And so just to sum up, when we find ourselves in difficult circumstances and distressing moments, I want you to remember those seven things that we can do to improve the moment. Imagery, meaning, prayer, relaxation, focusing on one thing in the moment, taking brief vacations, and words of encouragement. Thank you guys.